hello friends welcome to my youtube channel tkf electronics i hope you all are doing fine so today i have yamaha this is the model 367 so let's see what's the issue in this see it's on So guys, the problem in this is there is no sound output is coming. So I'll just give the input and we'll check with the speaker. Just keep watching my video. So guys, I will give the input in AV5. In this is the input. It's running. See guys, I'm using the input in my mobile. So now the input is given in this. So, but there is no output. There is no any any of the five outputs working. See, I have increased the volume full. No output. See, no output. No output. Here also no output. Here also no output. So let's check why, why there is no output in this. See, so it's on power is on but there is no output so I will put it off first so put it off first I put it off now so we will open the cover I already unscrew the cover so let me stop more, more time so now we will check this is the main digital board this is the amp board the power supply section power transformer so we will check why there is no outputs coming from the this board just keep watching my video guys so guys now we will check some voltages on the digital main board here this is the DSP IC so we will check some voltages uh, I will put it on now see already it's 3 volt is coming on the power switch just want to show you see so I will put it on it's on now I should get some 7 volt over 6 C. So here the voltage is good. And here the voltage is good. But you see there are two um, from here. This is this is two other DC to DC converter IC. From this short key diode and from this coil, 1.2 volt should come. And from this short key diode and from this coil, 3.2 volt should come. This both volt will go to the DSP IC and another small small audio IC, another digital IC. So we'll check first over here. See here I'm getting 3.3 volt, and from this coil, see I'm getting only. Actually I must get supposed to be 1.2 volt, 1 volt or 1.2 volt, but it's only 0.2 volt because I think this voltage when it is entering in the IC, it is dropping. See it's getting it's getting overheated also. When I'm putting my finger, I should not. I should keep at least some one minute or 30 seconds, but within uh, 2 seconds getting overheated so we'll check the ohms whether this sh IC is shorted with the body so I will put it off now so guys now we'll check some ohms shorting uh, whether this IC is shorted or not I'll put one to the ground this is I put for the ground this so now we'll see the ohms This is the coil. See this. See guys, both 1.2 volt, 1.2 volt supply and 3.3 volt supply. Both are shorting with the body. Both is shorting with the body. See, this is the body. I'm keeping on the body. So it means that both are shorting with the body. So it means that IC is faulty. I should get some kilo ohms over here and here some ohms like 160 ohms like that but here already 0.6 ohms so now what we will do we will desolder this IC and we install new IC we will replace this faulty IC with the new one so just keep watching my video 
So this is the DSP IC, main DSP IC, Digital Signal Processing IC. The number of this IC is TMS320D70YE101BRFP. This is the number of this IC. So we we'll replace, I got the new one with me. We will take it out all everything. Slowly, slowly take it out everything. Two screw here, one screw here, just remove it will come out. So take it out. See guys. So now we will replace this one I see. So now keep this aside. We will work on this PCB only now. So start heating up slowly, slowly. Be careful while doing this. So guys, be careful. See, it's come out. So now we'll just clean this complete area. We'll take it out the IC. Okay, now we have already removed the snow cold little. We have already removed the faulty IC. So now I got the new IC with me. We replace this IC. Same IC number. See guys, this is a new one. So guys, we'll replace this IC with the new one now. Okay, guys, just keep watching my video. So I have already cleaned this area. See, it should be like this. So now we will fix new IC in this. So before fixing new IC, check all the track. Track should not broken or damage. So be careful to remove it out and be careful to fixing time also. So now I will fix it. I will show you. Now I will show you. Before it was showing uh, shorting. Remember these two DC to DC converter short wave diode is there. This is supplying 1.2 volt. This is supplying 3.2 volt. Before it was showing shorting, right? Now we'll check just to confirm you guys. I kept on buzzer range. Before it was showing some ohms like 1 ohms, 2 ohms like this. Now we'll see. It is not showing that much ohms with the body. This is the body. Or this is the body you can think. This is the body. See now it's 262 ohms. Before it was showing 1.2 ohms, 1 ohms like this. And this also. See 294 ohms. This is normal my friend. So it was before it was showing some 3 ohms, 2 ohms like this. That is because of the IC shorted. This is the IC shorted. So now we'll put new one. Be careful. How much is this? How it come? I don't know. The shop. So be careful fixing this IC. Should be very. So guys, so now we'll start soldering. Just give me some time because it will take time to solder this one. Be very careful during soldering. This is the old one I see. The one we remove it out. And this is the new I see. Now we are fixing it. Guys, I have already fixed the new I see. This one. See. So this will take a little time. It should be like that. So now we'll fix it back. So we'll fix the unit and we'll check. So now we'll fix this in the unit. Uh, we'll check. I'll fix it and we'll pack it up like this. So we have already fixed them. I already fixed it. See motherboard. So now we'll put it on. We'll put it on. So now what we will do? We'll uh, first reduce the volume, and we'll try to we we'll put on zero zero. Okay, guys, just keep watching my video. So we'll turn it.
so guys i will put input for ev5 i will use it because i have selected front side ev5 now we'll connect to my mobile i'll connect this to so i have given input now we'll check step by step this is uh, surround right this is surround left this is center this is front right this is front left so friends all five output speakers are working i don't have subwoofer otherwise i have it connected to subwoofer also here so i have already checked everything so we replace the dsp ic because of this ic we replace this with the new one so there was no sound output coming out from the output uh, m board so thank you very much for watching my video friends if you like my video please like it share it and if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, subscribe it and don't forget to press bell button so that whenever i upload new video you will receive an immediate notification and if you have any comments friends please leave it in a comment box thank you very much take care see you next video bye